Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany Jade here. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I am a motherhood and health and wellness channel. I focus a lot on healthy eating and healthy lifestyle, especially for my mamas who are busy and postpartum and on the go. So if any of that kind of content interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm just taking you guys through another what I eat in a day. I do these videos every single Wednesday here on my channel. And this week I am focusing on a new quest that I took up. I started a Facebook accountability group and the group is so exciting for me. It just makes me so happy to even talk about because it is a fitness accountability group for women and men. Anyone who is trying to make it through the end of 2020 without gaining that extra 10, 15 pounds or maybe just making sure that we are staying on the health track that we want to go on. I know for me personally, anytime I get to this time of year, I am over inundated with the sweets and the extra foods and the temptation and it's so crazy and I always end up like, with five pounds of extra weight that I didn't want. So for this year, with the crazy year that we have had in 2020, I thought, what better way than to hold myself accountable and to create this space where we can just come together, we can be really vulnerable and <laughs> and we can just support each other so I'm doing daily um, challenges over there I'm going to be posting weekly workouts with templates I've got uh, weekly meal plans that I am showing you exactly what I'm eating throughout the entire week along with shopping lists I've got an editable PDF version if you subscribe to my blog you can get access to that so all of that information will be down in the description box below so make sure that you guys check that out and as far as my diet goes this week I know I like to stay as low carb as possible, but I can't specifically say that it's keto because I do still have some carbs like sweet potatoes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging to see exactly what I'm even going to title this video if it's more so like paleo style or keto style. I know right now I'm not in ketosis, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that. Like. I know that keto videos specifically have done really well on my channel, but I never want to give off the impression that I'm like posting keto videos because I'm in ketosis or anything like that. I just feel like it's kind of, I always want to stay as honest as possible. Um, so I, I've bounced back and forth between like paleo, whole 30, keto, no dairy keto. I do, I am trying to stay as low dairy as possible. So that is something that I'm working on, but I'm cooking up some breakfast right now. I'm going to show you guys that and then I've got to take these kids to preschool. So I'll check back in with you later. All right, so I picked up some of this Dano seasoning. I saw this like all over TikTok and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of it over my avocado there. Um, this stuff is literally good on everything, guys. I'll have them linked down below, um, but I love this seasoning on just about everything. So this is just my breakfast. I've got an egg fried in the leftover bacon grease, some avocado on the Danos, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon juice. And then I've got my handy dandy helper here for me, here with me. Let's get set up for just like, let's do the cover, the thumbnail. Let's do a thumbnail shot. Scoot back, you gotta scoot this back a little bit. We're gonna do the cover photo shot. Just go, smell the cheese. All right guys, I just got back home from dropping Nova off at preschool. I have changed into my cozy shorts because I'm about to tackle my pantry. Um, but first we need coffee. So I just picked up these new pods that I wanted to share with you guys. They are so good. Um, absolutely not. Got it take my stockpile out. These are um, Starbucks pods, medium roast, the coffee with golden turmeric. Let me share it with you guys. This stuff is so delicious, you guys. Like honestly, I could drink this black. I have drank it black ones. Um, I picked it up the other day in my grocery haul and I absolutely am obsessed with the stuff. It tastes, it tastes so good. It smells, look at me trying to smell it. What? What is wrong with me? Anyways, um, I am going to make myself a cup of coffee, get to cleaning, and then I will show you guys what I have for lunch. So I picked up this Silk um, Dairy Free Half and Half. It's a oat milk and coconut milk alternative, or not an alternative, but it's a half and half alternative, excuse me. And it looked really creamy um, when I saw it at my friend's house, so I decided to try it. And then I also picked up 
some of this. This is just some sugar-free vanilla coffee enhancer. This is just like this Safeway Select brand from my local Safeway, but you can get like Stevia or whatever. I'm just gonna put some of that in there and that's my coffee. All right, you guys, so it's lunchtime right now and I'm getting ready to make a quick sandwich, but I wanted to talk about rotisserie chicken. <laughs> rotisserie chickens are life. Um, we had this the other night and so I'm just gonna take some of the meat of it and make myself like a little sandwich, so let's do that. And Taylor's, Taylor's also gonna come home and like have a quick lunch with me, so I'm gonna like make his lunch too, you guys will see. This may not look delicious, but to me this is looking absolutely scrumptious. Just got the chicken, some bacon, red onion, tomato, some pickles, some mustard, some of this garlic aioli mayo, and some guacamole. I'm about to devour this really quickly, and Taylor's still not here, but I gotta get ready to go, so I gotta eat. Hi guys, I am so hungry. Literally, it's four o'clock right now. We're having tilapia for dinner tonight, but your girl needs a little snacky snack, okay? So I'm just gonna have some almonds, I think. Some almonds and I'm gonna make like a little something. I'm gonna make a ah! This is hard to do with one hand. Okay, this is super annoying. I thought that I had some um, coconut chips, but apparently I don't. So I'm just gonna have a handful of almonds, some of these chicharrones. Um, I'm gonna do a little serving of that, and then I'm gonna do a couple of these Lily dark chocolate baking chips because your girl needs a little snack. Okay, so this is like a really weird snack, but I just have um, some almonds here, a couple of pork rinds, and some Lily's dark chocolate. Don't mind my thumb there. I'm going to get a fill next weekend for my birthday. And um, yeah, this is going to be my snack. Okay, so tonight we're making lemon garlic tilapia. These are just frozen tilapia fillets that I just defrosted. I've got five tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt right here, and then I'll show you what I add to that. So I recently found out that every time I eat broccoli, I get like major stomach upset, but I have a bunch in the fridge, so you girls gotta endure it. But these are just microwave potatoes. It's super easy to make these. All I do is wash the potatoes in my sink, poke holes in them with forks, and then I will wrap them up in saran wrap and put them in my microwave on the potato setting, and they come out nice and soft each time. Um, so I am eating some I am eating a potato, so this is not going to be a keto video, but uh, this is more like paleo style, I guess. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about how I'm eating here in a second, but I just wanted to show you the dinner. This is how the fish turned out. Everything looks really nice and tasty, so here goes nothing. Nothing. 